How's it going guys, Konki here. So it's been a little while since I made one of these and hopefully it's actually interesting because last night I went to see my friends off at the airport, well like this morning, I left my house about 3.30 in the morning and I haven't slept since so I'm pretty fucking tired. So anyway, another question and answer video for you guys. I think I asked the question maybe Monday or Tuesday and I'm finally getting around to it now. I've got the day off so let's get into it. Alright, so first question is from Taylor or Latte. Um, What's your favorite Final Fantasy game? Now, as you guys would probably know, uh, over here, Final Fantasy X. Honestly, this this purchase, like, I've it came out uh, ten years ago, I think, this game, and oh, just, the game's fucking phenomenal. Um, nostalgic as fuck playing it, and it's one of the games that I can actually sit down and really grind lots of time into. Um, close second would easily be Final Fantasy IX. And then probably seven, yada, yada, yada. Alright, next one is from Frenchie. Now, what's your biggest life lesson? Um, now, I think probably my biggest life lesson over the years that sort of uh, got me by, I suppose, is one way of putting things is um, that it's okay to have an opinion on things. Like, for example, you, like, you know, uh, say, like, people with tattoos or something like that, um, a, lot of the, a lot of public doesn't like that and they'll like you know tr purposely treat people differently for the way they look right yada, yada. whereas like you know it's okay to think that looks cool and it's also okay to think that looks shit but just let them go sort of thing you know just let people be for doing what they want to do and that, I've noticed that's really kind of got me by in the times and yeah really helped my sort of judging of people and all that kind of shit uh, Next question is from Raw Topi. You are my Guitar Hero Idol. Where do your incredible skills of rocking and shredding the virtual solos come from? No lifing. Now, oh, can't remember how long ago, but it was when Guitar Hero 3 first came out. I got it for Christmas that year, and my parents have regretted that purchase hectically. I would put every single waking minute that I had available, which wasn't too much because I wasn't allowed to play games during the week and shit during high school. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, I fucking played so, so much of that game. And, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so just grinding the same shit over and over again, which led to many broken guitars. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's just what it was like. And I've had a good, I've had a good lot of time, a uh, good lot of fun, sorry, with like winning the competitions and shit going over east and playing. So, yeah, it's it's been b good and bad, I suppose. Um, next question from... <laughs> Jesus, he changed it to high Gunga, fuck. From high NV. Um, El Presador opinions. Alright, now, I found El Pres back when I was in high school still, like probably year 11, year 12. I think it was back when he like would play World at War and shit. And, like, you know, obviously he still sucks as, <laughs> sucks as a player now, but he was funny back then. It was original, it was different. But now the fact that every other retard's doing it, it's like, you know, I don't really enjoy it that much. He does post some funny shit, and some of his Twitter rants are pretty funny, but I don't watch any of his videos anymore. Uh, dream from Next one from Dreamcosis. Which two male LOL champs are you having a threesome with? And same for female. Um, fuck. Male. Ergot. Giant er Crabgot. And... I don't know, Jaximus. <laughs> that was a weird question. And same for female, Battle Bunny Riven, and... Fuck. One of the Nidalee skins. Yeah, anyway, there you go. Uh, now, Chuff asks, Jasmine? No, Jasmine. Uh, next question from Sean. Um, is there one thing you could change about yourself, and if so, yeah, what would it be? I wish I was quieter. Now, I've always been a very loud kid, which would have been good if I did drama or acting or something like that, but never have. Um, I've just always been really loud. My voice projects. Like, for example, if I was, you know, say if someone was talking to me in class or something like that and being quite kind of annoying, I would tell, I would say something back to them and then the teacher would fucking shout at me because they'd be the only voice that I hear. And that's been ever since I've been little, you know. I've, I've went and got my hearing tested and shit like that, but I'm just a loud person and, yeah, I've learnt to sort of deal with that, I suppose. Some people still don't get it, but there you go. Next one is from Yuzu AP. Um, would you leave Omega for a bigger team? 
Now, Omega has been so fucking good to me because I don't do shit all in there. Like, consider the amount of time I actually play COD nowadays. I am really not... I don't know. I like being in the team. It's great. And uh, it, it's just a bit... It can be a bit of a struggle being in a team when you know you're not really hitting, like, high standard... Hugely high standard clips for, like, team targets and that kind of shit. So, Omega's been fucking fantastic to me. But if I could... If I would leave Omega for any other team, it would be either Raw or Envy or obviously FaZe. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> now, next question from Ritzdog. Three tips you would give to a bronze player trying to get out. Now, this is funny coming from me because I'm only silver five, but I did do the bronze five to silver five climb um, last season. Um, yeah, it, it's it's really not that hard because in bronze you'll find that everyone's everyone's shit, you know, but um, everyone, is, everyone is quite bad. That's why they're in bronze, obviously. But um, the people in bronze are looking to climb. In silver, everyone just thinks they're fucking amazing and, you know, argues and trash talks and yada, yada, yada. Now, if you have someone shit talking in your game, mute them. That's tip number one. Mute the entire fucking en enemy team and your team if you have to. Focus on winning your lane. Mute, focus on winning your lane. That is the first thing. Um, work on your builds. There's another thing. Like, really look into it. And, like, you know, say if you're an AD versus an AP, build MR. You know, the simple as that. People just follow the standardized builds and fucking have no clue. You know, like, building, like, a fucking... Building armor against, like, a team or something like that. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So, builds would be number two. Um, and number three, play norms and get good at a couple champions. So, you can play one of... At least one champ of each role. So, obviously, you know... Then, if that's five champions that you can play in five, in, no, in obviously each different role, and obviously if you don't get your preferred role, that's the one you can play. And then, yeah, so just practice really, and then hopefully you guys eventually get out of bronze if anyone's in there still. Now, next question, not really a question, is what do you think of this image? Um, everyone knows my opinions of that ex Corey faggot to begin with, but also tied in with that. Posting any photos of yourself doing any sort of drug, you are a cunt, and you don't deserve internet. Simple. Uh, next question is from Bailey. Um, now, most embarrassing moment from your childhood, teenage years, and being an adult. All right. Now, this might be a bit of a struggle. I'm trying to think back. Most embarrassing when I was a child would have probably been, from what I can remember, is when I was young, um, my parents had family friends over for dinner and I was kind of wandering in a house being an annoying shit and then eventually we were waiting for pizza to be delivered and then I decided to potter on out, I'm probably like three or four at the time or something, potter on out and say to my family like, where's the pizza? And then dad, um, dad goes, it's not here yet, it's still coming, it's still coming and I just go, why don't we go get the fucking pizza then in front of like, you know, ten of my family's close friends and shit, it was, it was a bit awkward. Um, next one, probably teenage years. Um, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but probably <laughs> shitting myself whilst playing RuneScape in a, when I was about 14, 13. Yeah, maybe 13. Was that 13 or 14? Uh, pretty pathetic. But I was quite sick, um, like in the stomach, and I farted and it felt it running down my pajama pants. Please don't judge me for that. And first few years of being an adult. Um... Alcohol makes you do bad things. <laughs> so I've got a lot and I don't really think I can name any. A uh, couple, you know, probably fucking making an absolute cunt of myself, dancing around doing the Gangnam style in the clubs when that was popular. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I'd really have to think about that one. But alcohol makes you do stupid things. Simple as that. Ollie asks the question, what are the most nostalgic games for you? Now, obviously, Final Fantasy is definitely the most nostalgic for myself because I put so many hours into that when I was young. Aside from that, RuneScape, I still watch Robbo stream whenever he streams, and I don't even touch the game anymore because I used to play 07 Scape back in 07. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's another one for me. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Age of Empires, uh, Legend of the Dragoon, if anyone knows that one, it was a PS1 game. Spyro. Uh, Jack and Daxter, uh, fucking Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank, all that shit. God of War, Gears of War, even that's somewhat nostalgic for the first one, I suppose. But yeah, all those kind of games. Alright, and um, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll definitely look to doing a new one, possibly with my girlfriend next time. So, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. It's been Conky. Peace.